let's go on to another talk, another question. And this was a question that was submitted that was interesting. Was I had frankly never never seen this question before. I never really thought about it even, and I had to put some thought into it. Uh, the question of write some write some code such that uh, every instruction. So I, I'm assuming it's a, it's intending to write some C code uh, that that gets generated into assembly such that uh, there'd be a TOB miss for each each processor instruction. Although I suppose you could just written that all in assembly from the get go. But in either case, we want to have a TOB miss for each instruction. And I guess taking a step back, let's remember that uh, uh, the page table on your system contains a mapping from virtual pages to and from physical frames. And your, your TOB, your, your uh, translation look-aside buffer, just contains a subset of the recently accessed page table entries. So it, it's a, a cache, if you will, of page table entries. So when we say we want to cause a TOB miss, it is potentially, at least once again, this is all kind of my reaction, uh, it's potentially dependent on knowing how many TOB entries there might be. Well, potentially. Uh, and then the other thing that this assumes, or this kind of requires, if you will, is that each instruction needs to be a memory access. So it needs to touch memory in some way. Because the only time we ever look up something in the TOB is if we're trying to touch memory. So we need a whole bunch of instructions that all touch memory. It, it wouldn't be unreasonable for a TOB to have a couple thousand entries. And a page of memory is often in the four, maybe as high as 16 kilobytes each. So my first thought when I saw this was, oh, uh, why don't I just write a function that, that I'll write some code that allocates 5,000 pages of memory and then subsequently tries to write or read to each one of those pages, each one of those allocations. So if I had 5,000 things I was trying to write to, I would get 5,000 TOB misses in a row because each one of them would be the first time I'm, I'm accessing that memory. That was my first reaction, which might, might handle the, the question as it was asked. Uh, although obviously there's a lot of allocations that are going on that don't may, may or may not necessarily cause TOB misses every single time. So another perspective, another thought I had here was, uh, what if we just choose random addresses in memory and try and access them? If, if we choose a random, a random address in memory and try and access it, Presumably, it's going to check the TOB to see if a virtual, the physical mapping is present. It presumably isn't because it's probably an illegal, illegal memory location on average. And it's then going to go into the page table, and the page table is going to definitively say, oh, no, this is an illegal, uh, this is not a legal memory address, and then fault in some way. You could potentially catch that fault and ignore it, and then go on to your next memory access. So essentially in a, in a loop, in a for loop, or even just having the same line of code uh, duplicated a thousand times, whatever it is, is choose, choose random addresses and then try and do a read or write to that address. And at least on average, every single one of those is going to cause a TOB miss. One other thought I had, so I'm just sharing all of my thoughts and I'm going to open it up for other folks to share their thoughts as well in a second. Uh, not that my thoughts are more important, but I figured I'd share my thoughts first. The other thought I had is on some systems, TOBs are flushed when the address space changes. And a lot of systems, modern systems now, it's not the case, but some systems, if the, if the active process that's running changes, the TOB is flushed out. So maybe we could take advantage of that. Maybe we could do something like rapidly swap back and forth between two processes such that, that we swap to a new process. Its very first memory access is going to cause a TOB miss because the TOB was empty at that time. 
And then we swap back to the other process, clearing out the TLB. And then the first time that, the next time that process accesses memory, another TLB miss will occur. So back and, back and forth between these two processes to cause repeated TLB misses. I thought it was maybe another, another possibility. So those are some of my thoughts. And I forget actually who submitted this question. It may have been uh, uh, Suhash. Uh, but in any case, if anyone else has any thoughts or reactions to how we might go about this, or maybe, maybe I misinterpreted this question. You want to think about it a different way. Feel free to correct me. Uh, yeah, again, this is Subhash here. Yep. Um, I think this was asked to someone at the company that both of us work. So I thought it was an interesting question. I had the same thought as you have. Uh, the first first uh, suggestion that you had, that's the thought I had. And I thought, it's just that because it was interesting, I thought like what other things, uh, and I just posted that way. But I think when it says each instruction, I, I was also thinking probably one single instruction uh, uh, at an assembly level, which will, which will cause that. And I had same that like you, you could allocate the memory such a way that and then every time you you make an access make sure that you you are maxi making access that will cause that will be out of bound from the tlb i mean if as you said maybe a thousand entry or two thousand entry uh tlb and a, and a 6k a 4k page size or, or a 16k mm -hmm. will make the calculation based on that and 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 make the accesses so, yeah. yeah yeah one thing that could potentially be tricky with this question is if that if it truly wants every instruction to cause a TOB miss, then you couldn't even have a for loop. Because in your for loop, some of the instructions are just incrementing registers. They're not memory accesses and wouldn't cause a TOB miss. So if you truly wanted to have code that would cause TOB misses for every instruction, you couldn't have any for loops. Uh, you, couldn't do, you couldn't do something like generate a random number because generating that random number is a bunch of instructions that will succeed. Uh, so I, I think in that part, I, I didn't really have a good solution for, uh, because in any of these solutions I mentioned, it at least would involve some setup. You need to have some code that sets the stage such that all subsequent lines of code cause TOB misses. Uh, but if the requirement is that every TOB, so every every line in your in your code snippet, your piece of code has to cause a TOB miss, then it becomes a little bit trickier. And I, I didn't have a perfect answer to that, other than once again trying to switch back and forth between processes. But I wasn't quite sure the best way to write code to the force uh, switching back and forth between two processes, uh, because you could potentially send signals back and forth. But I think just the act of sending the signal will also involve some instructions that are non-memory accessing and hence not cause a TOB miss. Uh, so it kind of depends on how strictly you want to follow this. And it would be the kind of thing that if I was asked this question in an interview, uh, I, would, I would follow up first with, well, what do you mean with by each? Do you mean every instruction or just uh, some long series of instructions as part of a larger code? code module. Uh, anyone else have any thoughts? I know folks may have been seeing, see this question for the first time, but like any other thoughts in addition to what we've talked about, you're, you might have a reaction for how we might be able to do that. Oh, and I guess one other thought I, I, I just had now, and I need to look up whether this is the case, but it didn't say it had to be user space code. We could potentially have written kernel code and I, it's been a while since I've, I've really dug into TLBs, uh, but maybe there is some way for us to uh, essentially turn off the, like, is there some register or something that we can do to essentially turn off the TLB or, or flush the TLB in a way that essentially causes TLB misses for every instruction, but because we've, we've kind of cheated and turned off the TLB in total. Because if, if the TLB is off, then by definition, every every instruction has a TLB miss. So that maybe something along those lines could be an option as well. 